the great outdoors. What is van life? Truly, it's different for everyone. It's not all just good looking dudes taking butt pics in front of an incredible view laying in the back of their van. It's easy to get caught up in Instagram's perspective of this nomadic, carefree lifestyle where all you do is park in the most beautiful places and pursue exploration and adventure 24 seven while wearing your wide brim fedora. Although this may be some people's version of van life, this isn't exactly how our first six months of van life played out. In early October, we finally set sail on our maiden voyage to pursue full-time life on the road. We traveled to the northeastern part of the U.S. chasing the fall foliage, having the time of our lives. Were we actually hashtag van lifing? As the fall foliage faded, we began to head south chasing warmer weather. We stayed in Walmart parking lots from Maine all the way down to Georgia and eventually ended up back in our hometown of Asheville, North Carolina in early December. Our goal was to get back around Christmas, but we found ourselves bored wandering aimlessly around the East Coast. Not that what we were actually doing was boring, but we had both explored the better part of the East Coast and were just itching to travel and get on our big trip to go out West. I know, I know, I'm rambling, but we're about to get to the good part. We went to Costa Rica for a couple weeks to kill some time for the holidays, and it was absolutely amazing. The landscape was stunning. We couldn't ask for a better trip. Even though we weren't in the van traveling in the States like originally planned, this was still a very great alternative. When we got back from Costa Rica, we were right on time for the holidays. We enjoyed spending time with our family and we had every intentions to start heading out west by January 5th at the very latest. At this point, we've been living in our family's driveways full time, just itching to hit the road and finally go out west. One thing that we forgot was we actually had some flight credits from 2020 that we needed to use and we needed to use them ASAP because they expired in March. So what did we do? We decided to book a quick trip down to the Caribbean and visit the island of St. Lucia in the beginning of February. That way we could burn up our airline credits and finally get on the road. Our new date to head out west was the middle of February, but that was all about to change. Just days before our trip and quite a few hours sitting at Camping World, it was determined that our oven had an internal gas leak. Now we don't have a functional oven. We don't know if our oven's gonna be repaired, replaced, or be out of an oven entirely. And we're getting ready to head out of the country, having no idea what our future holds. We had a great time in St. Lucia, exploring the island and the various things that St. Lucia has to offer. During that trip, we were contacted by Camping World via text message, and they told us that they were actually going to replace our oven under warranty. Thankfully, we're getting an oven. When we returned, we spoke with Camping World, and they said that we had an estimated delivery time for our new oven for February 23rd, which was about two weeks after we returned from our trip. So that wasn't too bad of a wait, so we are pretty excited. We continued to camp in our parents' driveways until the 23rd came. Be sure you save room for dessert. Mama, the meatloaf! Well, the 23rd came and went. Still no word from Camping World. Big surprise, right? Anyway, we reached back out to them and they said, oh, well, what happened was your oven's been discontinued and Dometic hasn't released the aftermarket version of your oven yet, so we have no idea when you're going to get a new oven. So naturally, we were super excited to hear that because then we just got to stay in our parents' driveways even longer. Since Costa Rica, Ben has been experiencing some symptoms of like dizziness, heart racing, nausea, all of which we mentioned in our Costa Rica vlog, and has reached out to his doctors to try and determine what's going on with him. While we were waiting on the oven fiasco and Ben's medical to get resolved, we are still in town, bouncing between our parents' houses. Not exactly what we had planned when we decided to quit our jobs and downsize over 1,900 square feet to live in a van. Considering we're about to leave and we're not exactly sure when we'll be coming back, we're loving all of the time that we're getting to spend with our family. But this isn't exactly what we had in mind when we were thinking van life originally. Sometimes, not only in van life, but life itself, things don't work out the way you think it should, but that's the beauty in all of it. You have the opportunity to adapt and overcome to make the best of any situation that comes your way. With all of that being said, we have some super exciting news to share with you in our next and final video of this mini-series. We'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye.